there January 4th, 2022. Here we go again. We're headed into the third lockdown of this pandemic, effective tomorrow. And among the measures announced by the government is that all physical fitness facilities must close. That includes gyms, dance studios, martial arts schools, not surprising. Uh, third one, the first one was from March 2020 through August of 2020. The second lockdown was essentially from January 2021 through mid-June of 2021. And now the third one's taking effect tomorrow. You know, according to the government, this lockdown is set to last 21 days, three weeks. And the hope is, is because the Omicron wave is surging so rapidly that they hope that it will decline just as rapidly down that way. And they project that the peak of this surge will be at the end of this month. Let's hope they're right. Because I've been in touch with my private clients and we've agreed to touch base in early February. And I would like to be able to uh, teach in person as soon as possible. January, uh, excuse me, February would be good. We do not want to take another six months off from private lessons. That'll drive me bananas. But in the event that uh, we are off for a prolonged period. I'm going to go back to my solo training. Uh, well, you know, forms. Uh, angles of, uh, attack combinations. And physical fitness workouts. All the things that I've been doing since March 2020. All right, so you may detect a tone of frustration with this and there is there is frustration with me um and the main frustration is the reason for this lockdown is the the government wants to prevent the healthcare system from being overrun especially in the areas of hospitalization i understand that that's a very valid policy goal is to prevent hospitals from being overrun the question I have is, way back in August and September, I felt like it was foreseeable that we would see a winter surge. I mean, we're congregating inside where the, the, the risk of transmission is at its greatest. And knowing this, why didn't the government prepare? Uh, stockpile rapid tests. Um, making sure that the healthcare system was ready, rolling out the booster shots earlier. It wasn't until mm, beginning of December that folks age 50 and up were, el were eligible for booster shots. I think it's a fair question for folks to ask, why didn't you roll that out earlier? So there's a lot of frustration out there with folks who are criticizing the government for being caught off guard. Now, we couldn't have seen that uh, Omicron popping out of nowhere in South Africa. But I think it's reasonable to assume that we would have had some kind of winter surge and the government was caught off guard. Preparation, come on, man, be prepared. All right, so, Despite all that, what can we do? We gotta go with the flow, do the best we can, check in on each other. Some folks are really getting worn out. Pandemic fatigue is a thing. Check on each other, text with them, FaceTime with them, Zoom with your friends, reach out to them, tell folks when you need help. Uh, I need to get a few things off my chest. I need somebody to talk to you. Can I talk to you? That sort of thing. Work out, get outside, walk around, do a few push-ups. 
do what you need to do to keep yourself busy, get that endorphin rush. Okay, find a way to get an endorphin rush. If you can't go to the gym, man, we're not going to be able to here for the next few weeks. Push-ups, set-ups, planks, whatever you have to do, horse stances. I've been doing, you know, 10, 15 minute horse stances in front of the TV while watching football games to keep myself in reasonable shape. Go with the flow. Okay. Um, keep yourself busy. Don't go crazy. Reach out to other people. We'll get through this. All pandemics come to an end. That's one thing we have to remind ourselves. In the history of pandemics, every single one of them came to an end. So look forward to the end of this one. All right, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Despite what we're going through right now, I am pretty optimistic about this fading away in the near future, in the spring. So just hang in there. Pandemic fatigue is a thing. I know I'm repeating myself, but hang in there, okay? All right, on to other things. I'm changing up my social media for this year. In the past, I've had uh, blog posts coming out on Mondays. I'm re-triggering a few things, okay? So I'm, my long-form videos will be coming out on Mondays. I have short videos, YouTube shorts, which is YouTube's attempt to compete with TikTok. YouTube shorts, and I didn't even know it was a thing until a week or two ago. So much for keeping up with social media. Anyway, YouTube shorts are coming out on Tuesdays and Fridays. Blog posts on uh, Wednesdays, and these vlogs on Thursdays. Okay, so let's hang in there, keep in touch with each other, keep training, get that endorphin rush, and we'll get through this, okay? Mm. Go with the flow. Have a good night. We'll see you later.